I'm Matt Bichard here at the La Quinta Resort and Club in Palm Springs, California for REITWISE 2017, NARIT's Law, Accounting and Finance Conference. Joining me today is Peter Fass, partner with Proskauer Rose. Peter, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Now, you're moderating a panel here at REITWISE looking at the public non-listed REIT space. Can you start by talking about the new fee models and other changes that you're seeing in this market? Over the years, the criticism for the industry has been the high front end load and the fact that broker dealers are getting significant commissions, 7% of the selling price for selling the shares. Uh, finally, commissions are coming down. Sponsors are experimenting with various share classes. For instance, we have the traditional A share, which is 7% commission. We have the T share. The T shares are trail commissions. You might get 2 or 3% up front, and the balance over a period of time, 3 to 5 years, and that would be only payable if the broker perform services relating to the investor, such as monitoring the investment, advising him of what's going on with the deal. Uh, then there's the institutional share class, which is that share class where there is no commission. And then there's a variation of the institutional share class, no commission, but a service fee for monitoring the uh, investment. And in addition, we have seen sponsors start shifting away from the high load ongoing fees by eliminating acquisition fees or lowering them and at the same time uh, just having an asset management fee similar to private equity and retaining a significant interest in the deal through the promote and looking out for the investors interest uh, <coughs> Hopefully these changes will reinvigorate the industry. And what do you see as the future of the DOL fiduciary rule under the current Trump administration? Well, we know that the Department of Labor has put out the rule for additional comment and delayed the effective date for 60 days. I think that with all the comments that are coming, I don't think they'll have time within the 60 day period to uh, do anything substantive. I think they will defer it again and hopefully after all of the comments come up with a more sustainable rule. I think the criticism that a lot of people had was the DOL, the Department of Labor did not do a full enough explanation of the uh, costs that they were saving the industry and doing away with fixed commissions of commission based accounts for a lot of investors is not as advantageous and I think another major issue that the industry has is the ability to have a class action for the IRA investors I mean that only breeds the plaintiff's bar will just find something that went wrong and you're basically then selling puts. Now lastly, you know, one of the, the biggest news in the PNLR space was Blackstone's entry into the market. What impact do you think that could have on the overall PNLR market? Well, the first was that the industry got some good press rather than having the usual articles in the journal or in investment news about high fees and this going wrong and that going wrong. Uh, and it focused attention on the good part of the industry. If Blackstone is going into the retail space, there has to be a reason. And I think people are discovering that retail investors are loyal investors. They stay for a long time. They're not moving in and out of the product. And I think other institutional players are now in the space with Colony merging with North Star. You have another big player, and then Cantor Fitzgerald, and I understand other uh, institutional type names are looking at the uh, retail space. And once retail investors show an interest in real estate, they all can't go into the same product. Uh, I noticed that uh, in the first two months of 2017 from uh, statistics, Blackstone sales were off the roof off the floor. They're selling more than five times the next 
product, but product sales are it's inching up. So hopefully it will spread across the industry as other players change their fee structure and try to mimic or top Blackstone's fee structure. Peter, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. For more from REITWISE 2017, be sure to visit nareitsreit.com.